Aloha. We've been told it's a greeting and we see the word everywhere. But what does it really mean? Break the word down into two parts. Alo, to be in the presence of, to be in the face of, to combine with the ha, the breath, the life, the spirit, the essence of one's being, anyone else around you. And so when you say aloha, you're saying to be in the presence of, of to join with the spirit and the essence of the person who is across the table from you. You acknowledge that everything has a life around you and it lives and breathes. It has ha, and that ha gives us the ability to interact and be a part of all of creation. That talks about giving and receiving, not giving and taking. And that the more you put in, the more you receive. Allah means to, to care for one another, to care for people. I care for my, my land and the, the people that live here, all of the people, Hawaiian and non-Hawaiian. This means taking care of our elderly. This means taking care of the homeless that have started living on our shores. Leaving people and places better than when you found them. It's about leaving people whole, leaving a place whole. Each of us must ask ourselves, do we live in the spirit of aloha? What effect is that having around us? Aloha. Beautiful to share time and space with all of you. Ovauno o Havane Rios. O mauna awa kea ku umauna. O koha koha o ku ukaha vai. A o pu ukapu ai mea no ho iku ai na kulaivi. My name is Havane. Mauna kea is my mountain. Koha koha is my water. And pu ukapu is the land that raised me. It's just so graceful to see my mom on a wave. It's that's what it is. It's grace. Then she danced hula, and I just think it all came together. have that sense of belonging where their hula now becomes a way that they can give back to the land. They're not taking hula as something that's feeding them. They're now using that hula to revitalize the land because the land will hear the names, will hear the stories, will feel the presence of the people and will be enriched and revitalized and it will grow again. And that's a really important part of our culture and of hula that you can't see when you Google hula or any halal. And um, this is, the, the soul of hula is in Hawaii and in the places that are still Hawaiian. I'm greeted by my local connect, Greg Solatorio, one of six children of Filippo Solatorio, the last living Hawaiian descendant to be born and raised in the Halava Valley, who still resides here. Greg follows in his father's footsteps as the caretaker of this land and has taken on the responsibility of carrying on their traditions and cultural practices. You know, now, Most visitors come here for a quick cultural overview and a hike to a beautiful waterfall at the back end of the valley. but. 
I was fortunate enough to be invited to stay overnight and spend the entire day with Greg and the family to experience just what a day in the life is really like here. To really see Hawaii is to see the people. Yeah. And how do you see the people? Is to learn the culture. I got a very little taste of the culture of the, the heritage here and it completely blows me away because I've I've never experienced it. You only know Hawaii as hula dancers and luau's and nice beaches and all-inclusive resorts, but there's so much more to this culture, there's so much more to this place, and I'm happy just to have the opportunity to, to see it and experience what little of it as I could. Uh, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. In our culture, we say mahalo nui loa. That means thank you very much. Mahalo nui loa. Yeah. And thank you, brother. Ole pilikia, no problem. No problem. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grub on this uh, venison, this teriyaki venison oh. that we just whipped up. Wish you guys are here. It's a great day. <laughs> learned a little bit about fishing, learned a little bit about hunting, learned a little bit about, about pulling out the traditional food, the taro root, turning it into a paste, having it with traditional fried fish. This is just a good day. It was a very, very good day. That's it, hope you guys liked the video. Ahui ho. Until we meet again. In Hawaii, we have a term, kuleana, which means responsibility. To be a kumuhula, that's a huge kuleana. The Hawaiian people did not have a written language, and it was the hula that kept all the stories alive. and I take that responsibility of perpetuating the hula very, very serious. It's your one song of the night. You're only dancing one song. People say, is hula a pastime? Is it a hobby? The hula is our bridge to the past, the foundation of our Hawaiian people. It's my life. Sixty women have to tell the same story. So we have to dance as one, think as one. Our souls need to be as one. There's a time in our history when hula was forbidden. That was a sad time in our history. But King Kalakaua said, the hula is the heartbeat of the Hawaiian people. So where there is Hawaiian people, <laughs> there needs to be the hula. Session million. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Indubitably me with medicine for the people. Honolulu. Some waves out today. Only seeing up the sun. Eh? Crested shoulders, ER circling over my head, my reins and my body are connected to him. I hear the canes constantly whispering, a sweet, sweet music, a symphony of sentences, familiar and stoic, I'm home. 